guys, so before this video starts, just wanted to give you a heads up, going to be giving away five keys for access to the early access aftermath thingy mabob that I'm playing. So if you would like to be entered into this little giveaway, just be sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below what you think of uh, aftermath so far, and possibly even suggestions, because this is a... Uh, Given it's kind of rough beginnings with War Z, I think suggestions are actually a very big thing for Aftermath to be successful, which I honestly do want it to be, because I talked with a guy, super cool dude, but that's enough of my little spiel to talk a little bit more about that in the actual video. But uh, yeah, so doing the giveaway, hope you guys enter, and video time. So guys, what's going on? So there's a new video, and today we are back in a game that you probably haven't heard about, or maybe some of you have heard about a little bit, but uh, this game... Is known as Aftermath, and before you go ahead and dislike the video out of just sheer amounts of hate, it is made by the same people who made War Z. However, let me just explain myself a little bit because I actually got to talk to the uh, new lead developer who kind of took over dev duties after the launch of War Z, and uh, with his new vision and stuff, pretty much the oh, what is this? Harvest? Oh, I don't know the special tool. Uh, pretty much what they've done with the game, they've gotten rid of all pay-to-win aspects in this kind of new... Oh god, we got a zombie on us. Do we, do we try to beat the shit out? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck you, Zammy! I think he's... Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. He can't seem to hit us. We're hitting him with one, two. Like Mike Tyson over here. Alright, alright. Uh, he doesn't seem to want to go down, but like I was saying, uh, they got rid of all pay-to-win aspects in the game. They also incorporated this pretty cool system. I, I think he's dead. He's kind of bending over very weirdly. Also, I don't know what that loading thing is to the kind of right half of my screen. I think that's just some sort of glitch or something. Let's kind of punch the body a little bit here while he's having a seizure down there. Can't really collect that or anything, but uh, they did over... Uh, I mean, it looks similar to War Z as well, a little bit. But uh, some of the main differences, like I said, pay to win is gone. All of the money that is made from it, besides the actual buying of the game, money is made through the kind of cosmetic purchases so kind of think csgo where it's just like or csgo league of legends where it's like weapon skins and uh like just clothes that you do not drop on death and also this really cool system that they incorporated in it which honestly kind of caught my attention when uh i was talking with them at pax which was actually really cool he was really down to earth guy he actually used to uh, stream or stream or do videos? I think he used to do both. Oh god, I don't want to fight another zombie. I just want to find myself a nice little city somewhere. And I want to be away from this. Yeah, yeah we, we can outrun him. I think there's a road here though, so we should be able to follow this. Hopefully the zombie stops following us. But uh, yeah, so that kind of system I'm talking about, it's kind of this group system. So. Uh, to my knowledge, there's like kind of three main groups. There's the lawmen, there's the bandits, and there's the neutrals. And then there's certain safe zones, like there's bandit safe zones, and there's kind of normal safe zones for like... I mean, those are the two types. And uh, bandits, you know, if you do become known as a bandit, I uh, think you become designated as such in some way. I'm not sure on the specifics. But then, if you do become known as a bandit, you can actually be killed in the normal safe zone by lawmen. I'm not sure if normal people can kill it, uh, can kill them, but lawmen are actually capable of uh, killing you in that zone from what I was reading up on. So kind of this grouping, what it does is it deters bandits in a way and kind of that KOS mentality which is pretty much plaguing most uh, most survival, like MMO survival games. I don't really know if MMO survival... I, you get what I'm saying, kind of like this. Daisy, H1Z, which is like, KOS, it sucks. It kind of detracts from the experience, unless you're the one shooting the guys with barely any stuff, in which case, it can be fun. Oh! I think we just got ourselves a... Got ourselves a poison... Prison shank. I read that as poison shank. I'm like, oh my god. Alright, well, there's our knife. We actually have... Oh shit, we got three knives. And we got, ooh, a little bit of armor too. There's our beautiful guy, kind of getting cut off by the screen there. Don't mind him. Uh, ooh! Torch, nice, that should be able to keep us nice and lit. And what is this, knuckle dusters? Is that brass knuckles? Oh yeah, it is. Damn, son, this is getting interesting. Smoke grenades? Oh, I am excited to mess with some people here. Not actually kill them, though. I'm better than that. Let's continue exploring here a little bit. Uh, I don't see any towns or anything, but there's obviously going to be some towns out and about here. 
just seems that we have spawned in the middle of Bufu, Egypt. And uh, it, literally, it literally looks like Egypt. There's like sand and stuff everywhere, although it's probably like the Nevada desert. I don't know, I'm not a, ge I'm not a geography major here. I'm just, I just play games, okay? I'm a simple man. Huh. But, so uh, yeah, I think I did kind of cover the stuff I didn't want to talk about. So, before you go hating on this game and all that stuff, I also wanted to mention... Actually, I think I already mentioned that beforehand, but... Uh, because I mentioned that beforehand, just a reminder, I will be doing a giveaway for five keys on this game. If you would like to be entered into said giveaway, as I probably said earlier, all you have to do is leave a like on the video and comment down below what you think of it so far. And I kind of really want to hear the feedback on this because uh, War Z, which is kind of the predecessor to this game, had a god awful reputation. I mean, at its core, War Z was a pretty solid game, it's just that kind of hackers wrecked it, and also the whole pay to win thing. Also, there's a fork in the road. Not really a fork, but a side road. I don't see where it's leading to, so we'll just kind of keep heading this way and hopefully stumble across something. Seems to be a pretty damn big desert, though. Uh, I, you, you can't do the little alts to go to the left and right. Our water deteriorating a little bit. Nothing too major, though. Food's doing just fine. Uh, can we run while we access our inventory? No. God damn it. It's my favorite feature about Daisy and other games of the genre. Just like if you can run in a straight line while doing inventory management, just two birds, one stone right there. It's beautiful. Huh. By the looks of it, I actually see a little something in the distance. I don't know if that's what exactly we're looking for. But, there's also something to the right, although that might just be rocks. All of this stuff that I'm seeing might very well be rocks, but... I think I see some distinct buildings out in the distance. At least I hope I did. Again, though, it might have been a rock. I don't know. There's an RV to the right. I haven't seen any players yet either, surprisingly enough, but... I've, I've kind of rambled on enough there, kind of just doing my whole spiel on some of the basic stuff I wanted to talk about about the game. There's also, uh, there's just kind of, I have a little bit of, little bits of a list here. Uh, the, the way they made it, actually, it's pretty interesting. It's no player names list on servers, so stream sniping is very difficult, as well as hopping servers, hop, servers? Hopping servers actually scrambles your location. And, uh, there's full-blown base building, there's weapon skins that do not drop on death, they are permanent, and they're applied via the F6 menu, like that. The skins that we do not have. Sad face. Sad lead. And uh, cosmetics do not drop on death. Attachments are actually visible in third person. And you can actually see other people if they have attachments on their weapon. There's like bear traps, spike traps, 19 melee weapons, 15 different guns, 1 airport. Ooh, I want to find me that airport. 9 farms, 4 towns, 6 military bases, and 160 hidden camps around the world. So... Because I'm just traversing the desert here. I don't want to bore you guys. I kind of talked about some of the stuff I wanted to talk about first. I'll get back to you whenever we get somewhere somewhat interesting. And or something somewhat interesting happens. And then we will hop back into this. And you will be the first ones to know. Although, holy hell, this world, it seems massive so far. So, in a way that could be good. But also... There's not too many people on the server right now. I think it's 20. I think the max is 100 to 200 people. So if it was 200 people or something, we'd probably be actually seeing some people. But as of now, not really. But uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys whenever we come across something. Alright guys, I just made a shocking realization that... Well, uh, there's a map. I completely forgot about that. And we are pretty close to the one and only airport. So what I'm thinking we do... To take a bit of a detour, I also figured out how to go into third person. You just gotta hit C. Nothing really revolutionary, it's not rocket science. But we're gonna be heading to this airport. I hopefully want to get there pretty soon. I think these are the little hidden camps. Uh, we got our backpack customization. Ooh, give me the stash. Yes, give me that. Look at that thing. I don't, do I really want to custom myself, customize myself right now, though? We don't really have much. We've got a decent chunk of that GC, but we don't really have much to spend, or much reason to spend. I'm not even confusing myself here. Uh, here's a couple of the basic things we can craft. We haven't found anything. Okay, whatever. Right now, though, we're going to the airport, which hopefully, maybe we'll meet someone there. 
or maybe there will be no one and we get to loot it. So I'm guessing, since this is the only airport on the entire map, there should be a little bit of cool stuff. And then if there's nothing there, we'll head over to the safe zone, that is the Laman safe zone. And over there, we actually kind of spawn closer to the uh, bandit safe zone. So hopefully I do want to go to the lawful one and not to be KOS or something, because... I mean, God knows if people are going to be bandits yet. So I got to figure out the systems, but don't worry. Guaranteed. Like, 99% guarantee. This is like hand sanitizer. That by next part, I will be somewhat more of an expert in this. Right now, I'm just learning the ropes. I'm kind of just getting the hang of it. But, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see what the hell is in this airport. Which should be right over this... Hell no. No? Uh, a couple mountain ranges we gotta cross and shit then. I think I see it over there though. <gasps> I see something. I think that's it. Is that, is that the airstrip? Is that, is that? Oh, that looks like an airstrip. And if Daisy has taught me anything, that's gonna have some good loot. Alright then, here we are. We have, oh my god, that's a decent chunk of zombies. Okay. We're gonna wanna, oh god, yeah. Well, this airfield seems to be plagued by a good number of zombies, and that's something we want to ignore. Also, quick reminder, actually a reminder to myself, because I kind of neglected to try this, but uh, the graphics are not as high as they could be. I'm telling you right now, I'm actually on medium graphics with DirectX 9 for some reason. That's just kind of what it defaulted to. Uh, so, if you think these graphics suck, there's a good reason. There's probably a very high chance that next episode I will be able to do it in DX11 with higher graphics and it should look a hell of a lot better. That is the hope. Now then, I'm just going to go ahead and crouch around because I don't want to get caught by a zombie. I just kind of want to loot. Actually, someone's been here. Seems that there is a dead zombie right there. Oh god. Alright, well, let's check out these tents. Maybe they'll have good loot spawns. Ugh, I have no clue. What is that? Shotgun shells. <laughs> oh god, can't get in through there. There's actually a door, I believe, on this side, but... There's already loot, and we're finding it! Oh yeah! This is exciting. Is this, is this a pistol? Please? Binoculars. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. What do we have here? Rags. Is that a grenade? Smoke grenade. We'll kill someone with a rainbow of colors. And smoke. More binoculars. Do we really need two of those? They stack. Okay, that's good. Assorted metal. Another shank. Eh, can we, like, craft that down? Yeah, we got... I don't, we don't really want a shank, do we? Yeah, it does less damage. We'll keep an extra knife just in case. Let's just pick up what we can here. I believe we've looted all this time. Let's head into the next one. And see. Oh, I think that's a hatchet, maybe? Oh, we got melee weapons in here, boys. Oh, we got melee weapons for days. Uh, this looks the sharpest and most lethal. A harvesting axe. We're going to need this, actually. Wooden bat. Let's see how the damages stack up. Where's the harvesting axe? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can't actually use that. That deals less damage. Let's actually drop that then. Knuckle dusters, we'll drop that as well. Don't really have use for that. Rope bundle, though, could be good. That's just another bat. Uh, <gasps> pistol, 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 pistol. Oh, we got a gun, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How much ammo we got? One bullet. I think... Let's not put that to waste, but let's try and find as much ammo as po Fireworks? Oh, fuck yeah. We're taking that shit. Uh, do smoke grenades stack? They do, if they're the same color, and we actually have a high explosive grenade. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm getting excited. Uh, did any of those stack? Yeah, we got two green grenades. Okay, let's keep sneaking around. We got another one to check out here. I mean, worst case scenario, we see someone, we could scare them off with our gun. They're not going to know it's loaded, because it isn't loaded. But still, intimidation tactics, that's what we got to use. Uh, bottle of acid, eh. 
Drain X, eh, empty fuel pod, that seems like it'd be good. Also, sorry if my voice is a bit, like, shitty right now. Uh, I'm, like, starting to come down with something. I have no clue what the hell it could be. Because I was just sick last week, so this is, my, hopefully, just, like, kind of a one-day thing. But, my apologies, hopefully I'm back to my smooth, totally not sexy voice. I just call it sexy to make myself feel better about myself. And I could probably just get away with walking right now. However, I want to be very careful. Alright. And then I'm pretty excited for this hanger. Because, at least in Daisy, hangers usually add some good stuff too. So, as long as there isn't. So I don't get noticed. Oh god. That thing almost noticed us. Okay. Eh, screw it. Just walk around then. Although I'm not really seeing anything in this ha hangar. I almost called it a hammer. Yeah, it's looking pretty empty. Alright. We'll try to... Actually, something over here. What is this? Painkillers? Antibiotics? No space? God damn it. We got space for the rag though, right? No, we don't. Oh, it doesn't stack? Ugh. Uh, guess we'll drink a soda. Uh... Drop the break into metal. Oh, well, shit. Can we break that into metal? Yeah, we can. Okay, good, good, good. That kind of buffed out. No, it's just kind of wandering about. Okay, well, we got a couple tents here. Gigantic radio tower. I mean, we got a gun. If we could just find some ammo for this, I'd be happy to go now. Although, it might be a good idea to loot this since not many people are on right now. And I'm usually one to capitalize on these types of opportunities. I think we stirred up a crowd. Oh shit. Alright, well, let's fuck this lady up. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, lady. Come on, die! Die! I don't even know if we're getting hit. I don't think we are. I think we're good. The zombie seems pretty poop. There we go. Screw you, lady. Oh my god. Her skull's gone and her intestines are out. That is disgusting. And what do we have? Stomach medicine, toothpaste. Why would I need toothpaste, man? Keeping my teeth clean is the last thing I'm worried about right now. A log stack. And something. Knuckle dusters. Those things are tiny. Oh my god. I don't think my fists are that small. Maybe just sneak by here. There's like, oh, uh-uh. Do not want to get messed with that. Just keep our distance. Be sneaky deaky like and hopefully they'll just leave us alone. Uh, <gasps> is that a bigger backpack? Oh shit. I think we just found... Is it a bigger backpack? Or is it the same one we have? Hiker backpack. What do we have equipped? That's saw movement. Uh, shit, does it say what we have equipped? Space? Damn it. Break into that, what, plastic? Can we break the pipes into plastic? There we go. Stack that a little bit. Hiker pack, is that what we have? Is that better than we have right now? Too small. Wow, it's worse. Okay. Well, screw that shit. Alright. I think we got, if we can get up here. <gasps> oh shit, we got bullets. Oh shit, we got... A silencer? And we got armor? <laughs> Bro! Bro, we're getting... Oh, yes, yes, yes. This loot is kind of, sort of amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. We got two pieces of armor on us right now. Two different types of armor, actually. Uh, okay. Plan. Silencer. Can we learn that before we die? Because we do we do keep stuff after we... If we die, we do remember what we learned. Uh, cloth rag, rope bundle. I'm trying to think if there's anything we can, like, craft down. I don't know. Let's take these bullets, though. I don't think that's what the pistol takes. Pistol's probably 9 mil. Heavy flashlight. The fuck? Can I equip that? Uh, okay, let's try to drop something, then. Fireworks. Break into? Chemicals. Damn. Bottle of acid. We get chemicals and glass. Alright, screw the glass. Heavy flashlight. Is that, uh... Do we equip that to our gun? No. No, we don't. Damn it. I was, I was hopeful. Alright. Just drop that shit then. No need for that. It's looking pretty clear. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear this building. See what this has for us. Binoculars. Is this the good armor or bad armor? 
That is the class one protection. All right, let's drop that. Sort of metal. Oh god, I think we have a friend. I'm ready, motherfucker. Don't come at me. All right, nothing there. Let's see if there's anything in this corner. There actually is. Was that more morphine shots? I think that's two more shots. Very good. And uh, we're not even gonna bother going there. That's just called stirring the nest, and that's not something I want to do right now. All right. Oh, we got a couple sheds we should be able to check out here. With shotgun shells. God damn it. Got hopeful tools. That seems very useful. Aluminum bat also seems good. Huh. Quite the moral dilemma we've found ourselves in. <gasps> Is that okay, that's a zombie. I thought that was a person for a second. I'm like, motherfucker. This was like the, the walking sound changed, and I'm just like, uh, uh, I gotta go. What is that? Romanoff energy. That should just stack, right? Yeah. Hello, friend! Uh, is he still chasing me, dude? I'll fucking shoot him. I'm friendly, dude! I'll leave! Can you hear me? Okay, zombie chasing me. I'm out. Overstayed the welcome. I'm gonna go. Before this guy fucks me up. That guy's already got a freaking rifle. God damn. No point in even trying to go against that. That's how you die. I don't want to die today. Maybe another day. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to make a dash for that safe zone. Alright, a little bit of a pit stop on our way to the safe zone. Not sure if it's gonna have anything worthwhile, but... I mean, you never know. Just chocolate bars. Really just food. Ooh, antibiotics. Grab that. Make sure that guy isn't following us. Another blade. Ooh. Armor. Steel craft. That seems heavy. What is that? Class 3? Hello. You're taking that over. <laughs> Alright, so we got a class 2 and a class, I believe, 1 armor now? No, class 2 and class 3. We're doing pretty good in regards to armor. We just have to find some damn ammo for this. Maybe at the safe zone. We can, like, trade someone? Maybe buy some? Huh. I don't know. We'll have to see. How we continue this long walk over to the safe zone. Alright. Looks like we are approaching the safe zone. Hopefully no one is camping out and about it, trying to take us out. Hopefully that's been taken care of. If oh no, we are now in the safe zone. Uh, we have a little shield in the lower left-hand corner. I don't know if that means our stuff doesn't go down or if it's regenerating right now. Either way, let's go ahead and check out the safe zone before we call it a day. Cause uh, that was a bit of a close call. I don't know. He whipped out. What was that? Probably an M4. And one shot in my pistol versus. Very good chance he just had one shot in his M4, but still, it's not something I'd want to risk. Alright, well we should have this here, and there's still a bunch of stuff to explore on this map, which is pretty damn big by the looks of it. Can't really even zoom out anymore, Jesus. That is big. Bomberg seems like an interesting place to see. Same with Rooptadi? Uh, Trader's Den safe zone. Yeah, it's a Lawman safe zone. I guess we'll have to see. But let's just check out the safe zone. See how everything is here. It's a little stop sign, but whatever. That's not gonna stop me. Not gonna stop me at all. And we are safe. What a great feeling to have. Even a little bit of a campfire going. It's a nice, friendly atmosphere. But, uh,. I don't really think there's going to be much to explore here. Just in general, I think it's just a place to be safe. Don't think there's going to be loot for us to pick up. But I mean, I'll tell you guys if there is. I'll go look around a little bit. But, that is going to do it for me for now though. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.